Thank you everybody for coming to my episodic stream of Layers of Fear. In this game, we maneuver around a house more confusing than the plotline to Inception, and with every step forward, we fall further into insanity. Now let's jump into a house where we never know what's around the corner. Oh, and that locked behind me. Sweet. That looks like a more violent picture. Uh, um. Oh, okay, so it's raining and the window's open. Can I open this? Is there anything in there? I don't see it. Hey, how's it going, Kels? Thank you for coming in. And banana, yeah, it's it's pretty stiff to play uh, compared to what I'm used to. At least it's gonna take some getting used to for sure. Um, reconnect with your partner, rebuild your relationship, rediscover the joy of marriage, rekindle the flame. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth: nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work, and we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there is a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never too late. Interesting. Okay. Oh, no. Just out of- oh! <sighs> Yep, just out of reach for sure. Oh, that got me real good. Alright, well, what do I do now? Oh yeah, laugh it up, Fury, laugh it up. Okay. I have nothing here. I do want that light on, for sure. <laughs> Going in circles. I don't know if it's going in circles when I just keep going into different rooms that were never there to begin with. Hmm. Can't read that one. Oh, more paints in there. There we go. Save the date. Request to request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on a Saturday, the 9th of June, at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Thank you so much. It, it means the world to me. Honestly, I'm glad I can entertain you in that kind of way. That's, that's great. I'm glad to have you around, for sure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So there's numbers. Is there something? Oh, it's whispering. That's creepy. Okay, is there anything that has numbers on it anywhere around here? Can I open these? No, I think I already tried that. Oh, wait, what was that? Uh, the save the date. 9th of June. Oh, uh, wait. This is only three numbers. So, uh, what is it? January, February, March, April, May, June. So, 6, 0, 
No, it doesn't seem right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so maybe not 609. That well, is. Are the whispers saying anything? Secret. Hmm. Okay, well, what if I tried to come back out? It's, nope, it's locked now. What? This looks like there was like a painting or something there. Do the paintings have any relevance? Oh, there we go. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Oh! 485. Okay, we got our number. Uh, 485. Hey, look at that! The past holds back. Look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Alright, so a proposal. So that ring we saw was a, a significant other's. It must have been his wife's. And that's where the- whoa, hello door! And that's, uh, that's where the notes are coming from, so they're talking back and forth to each other. Never forget. Okay. What do we got here? We got two set. That's not cool, chair. What do we got in this? You've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. I wonder if that's a note to, uh... To the housekeeper. Can I... Can I touch the... Oh, it stopped. I didn't even touch it, and it stopped. I'm afraid to open doors. <laughs> Between not knowing what room it is and not, what the hell. What is that? Don't you don't jump at me. Okay. It didn't jump. I fell. Okay. Look at that. That wasn't that scary. <sighs> Alright. That must have felt good on the the messed up leg. Don't look at me like that. This game is so dark. There we go. Duh! What? In real life, I probably would have punched the shit out of that painting. <laughs> uh, the rooms stay the same. They just keep getting more creepy and scary as the game goes on. Oh, okay. Well, I was just thinking, because, like, when I went into my, my main painting room, my workshop, when I came out, the, uh, the room wasn't the main lobby like it was. That's why I'm thinking, like, new rooms. Oh, man, I need to turn my headset down. I jumped so bad. Yeah! <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> Poop my pants a little bit there. Oh. A lever? Hide behind this wall a little bit. <laughs> what is with this weird baby being like dropped in symbolism like that that why no 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 oh that's my escape that's my escape Next. Dominoes, more paint. This guy is obsessed with painting. Nope, no, get the next door down, please. Or 
or can I not? Oh, that, I think that is the that is the bottom drawer. Why is there paint on the deer? Did I try to paint camo camo on the baby? Oh look! Woo! Uh, North Atlantic Ocean. Oh, there's America. I live in this country. Long hallway. Uh, I don't like long hallways in horror games. They look like there's holograms or something in those paintings. Oh, this music's not doing... Oh... Oh, fuck! Paint deep lies. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that pose. I want to get all those lovely curves just right. <laughs> I'm not that round? What do you mean, round? Also, screw that painting. Uh, maybe you're right, because I have not watched this in a while. Honestly, I, I haven't played in a while. Like, this is... I, I think I played it a little after it came out, or, like, maybe there was a, like, a sale on it or something at some point, but it was a long time ago. Yeah, like... Oh, maybe it's not holograms. Maybe it's paint being rubbed away. That would make sense. What is moving around? Oh, it must be the sounds of the fire. It sounded like pitter pattering, like little uh, little rats or something. And with all the things about rats on the wall, I was genuinely thinking that maybe there was a rat around. Okay. Okay, that sounds like a rat. That's definitely a rat. Either that or ghosts are trying to give me smoochies. Yep, rat. Okay. Alright, I wasn't crazy. Did it just run into the fire? Dope. Oh, okay, there's another little rat. Do they keep spawning in there and running into the fire? Dope. Oh. Uh, why can't I move backwards? <laughs> this is like a thousand jump scares chained together. <laughs> I was trying to just back up, and it wouldn't let me back up. <laughs> uh, you know, I want to close my eyes, too. <laughs> Uh, can I do anything with this painting? Okay, nope. No, it's just a painting. Uh, uh, well, we got a chest under here. Oh, this- that's dark. People being hung and crying what looks like blood. I try to run, but this guy's got a fake leg. I don't think he can run. I do like the physics in the game where... I, I might regret saying this in the future, but right now, I like the uh, the physics in the game where if you open up a door too quick, it'll kind of bounce back at you. So, like, if I go... Uh, I guess that's only a little bit. Yeah, there you go. See? <laughs> boing, boing. I think that's a good, uh, good attribution to this. Right, we got another letter in here? 
Hey, in regards to your previous letter, I'm sure it's nothing to be con too concerned about. Women tend to get weird after having a baby. Hormone imbalances and the like. When we first- when we had our first, I remember Valerie got the blues real bad. I would ask her what she wanted for lunch and she just burst into tears. Just be there for her and I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Now, I know I promise not to rush you. By all means, enjoy your well-deserved time off. But just to let you know, I'm getting phone calls up to Ying Yang, commissions left and right. You're a hot ticket, my friend. Maybe we should strike while the iron's hot. But of course, the family comes first. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. I don't know, that seemed a little pushy to me. So from the sounds of it, maybe she had postpartum depression? And the baby is like... Maybe the baby's what he's claiming is, like, the main cause of, like, her feeling bad, so he wanted her to be okay and didn't really care about the baby? Oh, ominous female crying. That's pleasing. No, it's not. You're supposed to love your child. Now, whispering on one side, crying Hello? on the other. It's about time for us to talk, don't you think? I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Hmm. Seen you in my house so many times, but I could never find the courage to face you directly. Oh, that's locked. The crying room is locked. Yay. That means I'm gonna have to go in there at some point. I wish there was a lean. Uh, okay. Not scary yet. Locked. I love locked doors. I wonder if that's a representation of the postpartum depression there. Like, she's locked herself in the bathroom crying. Ooh. Walls are all beat up. More paprika! How much paprika do you need? That's like one of the jars the big size of pickles come in. Oh. Uh. Can't lean in the game, just gotta do it a little bit in real life. Oh, glass. Oh, it might be me. Yep, it's me. Okay, that's nice to know. It's not some painting following me. Okay. Looks like maybe a wine cellar. More garlic. This guy loves garlic. First step is the hardest. Oh hey, back to the kitchen. I've been here before. I know this room. Is that fruit coming from? Uh, where's my hide button? Just tuck myself away in there. Oh, that, that's one of the things I felt garlic. I knew I felt, or I heard something like kind of squishy behind me. Oh, jeez Louise. Yo! Oh! Painting, that's not cool. It is coming out of the painting. Thought it might. Looks like a shipwreck and a 
broken bottle. First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. He made skin into a canvas? I thought it might have been skin, but I thought I was also jumping to conclusions. Oh, now that's, that's a waste of a lot of potatoes. Potatoes are delicious. Oh, it wasn't this dark. You know, there's stunning over there. I want to go this way. Oh, it sounds like it's coming from in there now. Hey, my painting room. I wasn't in there about a minute and a half ago. Okay, uh, what's this? Oh, a picture. Can I, can I zoom into the picture? Oh. oh. Go back, please. It's a woman at a piano. I wonder if that's his wife. I wonder if they were just like both talented in their own fields. Oh, she's pregnant. Looks like baby scribbles on a picture, maybe? My love, even though you have not been born yet, I can already feel your presence. It's simply amazing. I just can't believe how lucky I am. A year ago, all I had was talent and ambition. Now, against all odds, I have a career, a loving husband, and you. I have never been a deeply religious person, I guess. Or, a deeply religious person, I guess. What other... Uh, I guess what other people look for in sermon I found in perfecting my art. But now, I can't help but feel like there's a higher power watching over me. They once told me that I would never succeed as a musician. Now I'm playing sold-out concerts at some of the most prestigious venues in the country. They also said I had a difficult character and that I would never find a soulmate. Guess again. Finally, a doctor once told me that I would never be able to have children of my own. And yet, here you are, within me. I am quite possibly the happiest woman in the world. I love you so much. You know what? I wonder. We saw that thing, the gallery or whatever, the news clipping where the gallery burned down. I wonder if that's linked to her playing at the gallery. I wonder if she was there when it... April 6th. I found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible. Nope. I want to see if there's more in. Why would she write that down, anyway? Unless she was trying to write it to him. Uh, this family sounds like they needed some serious help. Absolutely. Between the postpartum depression, not seeing each other, being involved in their own work, it seems like they were, like, almost intentionally trying to force themselves to separate when convincing themselves they wanted to be together. Uh, July 19th. Judging by the silence that has now fallen over the house, I can safely assume he has finally passed out, undoubtedly surrounded by empty bottles and tattered pieces of canvas that have become his preferred bedfellows. Every time it happens, I pray it will be the last. I pray f fervently, passionately. Our Lord in heaven, let him crack his head open and the rot spew out. Let him cut his wrist on the glass and the red bile flow. Let him choke on his own vomit so that we may all find peace. For if you don't, one day I will find the courage to walk down the steps and end him myself. You of all should know it's not the lack of will that stays my hand. Amen. Oh. Ah! Came out of the book again. So she, this sounds like it's like a, a timeline past everything. Like, I think after the kid, she got depressed, he got depressed, started drinking, and then she started, okay, that was the last thing, and then she started to resent him further for it. 
Deep breaths, remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes and then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Oh, is that paint or is that blood? Mm, painting doesn't look any different. I don't have the chest back here full of paintbrushes. Hate even now, lost. You deserve it, finish it. What the hell? Bloody flamingos? What? That's pretty freaking weird. Shapeless dreams. Thanks again, everybody, for watching my episodic stream of Layers of Fear. If you like this and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you can get a notification anytime I post any more videos. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!